Hey, let's take a look at how to blend together textures in Unreal. Hold A and click to create an Add node. Hold M and click to create a Multiply node. And hold L and click to add a Lerp node. Each of these nodes uses math to blend together two or more textures. And each of these exists in Photoshop too, as the Additive Blending mode, the Multiply Blend mode, and as Layer Masks. These textures have thousands of pixels, and each pixel has at least three color channels, red, green, and blue. If we sample the same pixel from another image and add the corresponding channels together, we end up with a new color that is usually brighter. If we multiply the channels together, we usually get a darker image since the numbers are so small. The LERP performs a linear interpolation, allowing us to fade between two images using a percent value which we usually get by sampling a third image and using one of its channels as the percent. Back in Unreal, wire up the RGB outputs to the Add node, and we end up with a brighter material. And of course, using Multiply gives us a darker material. Add a third texture. In this case, I'm using some Perlin noise that I made in Photoshop. Use the texture's red channel as the mask by wiring it into the LERP's alpha input pin. This looks interesting, however it's still kind of muddy. If I want the mask to have hard edges, I need to increase its contrast. So I added a cheap contrast node and set its strength to be about 10. This creates hard edges, but not a great distribution. To adjust this balance, I doubled the brightness of the mask by adding the red channel to itself before we apply contrast. And this looks better. So I'll reconnect the LERP node to my base color. Right click and look for Vertex Color. Add this node and use its red channel to control our LERP mask. Now save your material and find a high poly mesh you can use. For this demo, I made a box in Blender and subdivided it several times. When importing, I tell Unreal not to import textures or materials because I already have a material. Once your mesh is in the scene, switch to the Paint mode. Here, we can paint color into our mesh's vertices. To see the vertex colors, set the Color View mode to RGB. Each vertex in this mesh is currently white. Click these arrows to swap our paint color to black. Now we can paint black onto the mesh, however I'd rather set it to all black by clicking on the spill bucket. To paint red, I'll flip my paint color back to white, and then turn off the green and blue channels. After painting some red on there, we can switch our mode back and drop our material onto the mesh. The images are a little too stretched out, but rather than adjust the UVs on the mesh, we can scale them in our material. Hold U and click to add a texture coordinate node and connect it to your texture samples. Click on the node and increase the UV tiling values. Back in Paint Mode, turn off the Color View Mode and decrease your brush radius. And now you can paint rock wherever you want by clicking. To erase rock, you can click while holding the Shift button. Now you can use Vertex Paint for all kinds of things. Here's a material that blows in the wind. And you can use Vertex Paint to control which parts actually wobble. Also, check this out. I've got some water from the marketplace that is quite impressive. Deep areas have these very big waves, and shallow areas have small waves. This turbulence is controlled with the vertex colors. It even uses two color channels to control two different effects. And this allows us to paint where we want the larger waves. So pretty cool. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.